these days I went to the trash yard and I acquired several induction motor they were reversible and one is 90 war you can see the diagram showing there is uh, there is the uh, two windings over there one winding is directly you can directly to hook up to the AC power and the other winding you must uh, pass through a, a 25 microfarad capacitor so they were out of phase then you will go in one direction and then when you connect in the reverse connection on the button diagram you will get you will get a uh, reverse now I show you the in the real world connection when the AC coming from this line to here and the center going to this Six three port, uh, two three position, three so throat three. Uh, so it will come in either this way to this nine or either this way to this nine, and then the common the other nine going to the to, to the ground to the common. Not a, not really one, but the common, and then this one is uh, 3.3 microfarad capacitor, and so by by changing the switch position, the AC will go in either to this this termination or from here to another termination and then go into go into the motor to these two wire here now I'm going to plug in the AC power supply and I will switch now it's in the center, so okay. Now I want to switch. Now, now I want to push it to one direction, and you can see that it's running counterclockwise. And then I move to the middle position, stop. And then I change it to another direction. It going counterclockwise. Okay, stop it. In order to show you the better feature, there are three wires coming out of the motor. One is black, the other one is yellow, and the third one is white. The black you can connect to the common, and the yellow is one winding and the white is another winding and then you will need a capacitor which is exactly uh, the value you need you, sh you see on the diagram on the motor which is uh, for this 90 wall inductor motor the capacitor we need is 25 microfarad and 250 volt AC whatever higher the voltage the better it is and you need a while from the AC outlet 
of your world and if you want to control it two direction you need a three pole three throat switch now I connect I connect uh, the common the common wire now I connect the common wire to the brake then I connect the two yellow and white connector to each side of each side of the capacitor Then I connect the switch two wire, the two wire on the switch to the two wire. Now I plug in the AC power supply and the motor starts spinning now. I turn the switch. Shock. And I turn the switch off and I put the clamp a clip, a boot. We can undo it to show the direction. Now I turn, I switch to one direction. Then I switch to another direction. Now I unplug the AC power because it's too dangerous for me to use my oscilloscope to to see the phase angle difference in this test. Now I hook I hook I hook the I hook the common Look at the common lead, and then I put one lead to one winding, and the other lead to another winding. Now, as you can see, I can I use the two 
some in the 15 ohm to to breathing out the radio radio current from the winding. When I turn when I turn the turn the motor by hand, you can see that they were out of phase. They were out of phase. So I will freeze, freeze the I will freeze the the screen when it turn to see how much degrees turning by hand is kind of difficulty so I used the, the trio chuck to the vessel of the motor now I can get better pictures here. So the phase angle difference is around the uh, 90 or 45 degrees. Thank you for watching.